Hello! Do you want to know how to use the rest of this year to make it the best of your years? In this Chinese for horoscope forecast video, we will have a deeper look into the characteristics of the dog and reveal what the rest of this year has to offer for them. Which months are easy and full of opportunities, but also in which this Chinese zodiac sign has to be a bit more mindful. And why a clash month is not necessarily a catastrophe. Because when you know what's coming, you can use it and respond to it in a successful way, right? So do you know your Bata, your Chinese horoscope to make the best for your relationships and career in this second half of the Water Rabbit year? Let's see what's in it for you. So let me show you where to find out how to use the power of your personal Bata to optimize and achieve your goals. And if you stay until the end, let's have some fun with the date selection. I will give you some special dates for the dog, when to take action for luck and success in 2023 and when to better step back. Hi, I'm Sandra and I have been teaching and consulting Feng Shui, Bartze, Manifestation and Meditation for over two decades now. First in Germany and now already over 10 years in Australia and New Zealand. So in this forecast video, we will have a deeper look into the characteristics of the dog and what the rest of this year has to offer, which months are easy and which could be a bit more complicated for this animal sign. And to realize in which area of your life you need to take action or step back, we will have a look into the four pillars of destiny at the very end of this video. So, what is the dog like in general? If you wanted to say it with one word, it would be loyal. So like the animal that represents their sign, dog personalities are honest, faithful and sincere. They can be quite stubborn, but reliable and unselfish. And they enjoy helping others. They make friends easily and many of these turn out to be lifelong friendships. Diligent and resourceful, dog people are steady and devoted workers who quickly become trusted and valued members of any community. In matters of the heart, they need a very understanding partner. As though generous and loyal, they can also be quite moody, anxious and pessimistic. So what is the year 2023 for the dog? So the year governor is the Waterwood Rabbit, which is a combination friend of the dog. <laughs> and the year energy, generally speaking, of the Waterwood Rabbit is about inner development, upskill, intuition, new beginnings, well-being, harmony and healing. But um, be aware, compromises might be necessary for that. So concentrate on what is important. So, but what does that mean for the dog? Well, just like last year, it is about widening your horizon this year. But the big question is, if you, dear dog, keep on looking after everybody else, will you still have enough time for the quest after your own goals? You have to be aware that if you keep emphasizing your private life, your career and business goals will have to wait. So what do you choose? You are patient, I know. But for how long? If you manage to stay focused on projects you already started and stay on course, there is a huge benefit waiting for you. So don't spend your energy on rather questionable ideas, especially if your private life is important for you as well. There's only so much time and energy you can spend. So good planning can help as well as your intuition. Evaluate your strengths and energy well because nobody will benefit if you overpower. Enjoyable time out from time to time and well spent will help you and not only you to recharge your batteries. Okay. So what are special months and times for the dog? I mean, since you have um, your good months the three combination with the horse is in june and the tiger in february the combination with the rabbit is in march and uh, the clash with the dragon is in april so since most of the lucky combinations at the clash have been happening in the first half of the year probably a lot has been happening for you dear dog so let's have a look at the months to come august the monkey month do you sometimes have the tendency to take life too seriously 
the monkey can help you having more fun and enjoy life. Take some of the stuff happening in your life with more ease. Be aware of where you focus your energy on. Is it the positive or is it more the negative? Make sure you don't miss out on all the beauty and the wins when pondering too long on what went wrong and is already out of the door. Choose projects you really want to support and get rid of the rest. If you give out too many yeses, don't wonder if you have to say no to things, events and people that would make your heart sing. September, the rooster. You may need all of your patience this month, <laughs> especially to distinguish with what you can change and what you can't. What can be influenced? Otherwise, just wait. What is important to the rooster this month? Well-being. So how about looking after yourself this month just for once, my dear dog? So how about improving your approach with food or sports, for instance? If you feel comfortable in your own skin, you will radiate that out and others can also benefit. So a little bit of discipline is necessary, especially when you live together with other people. So how about you establish a schedule and a positive way of looking at things that will bring you much more forward than you might think. So stop doubting yourself. October, the dog month, your month. You may feel as if you are wasting too much time with small things, but sometimes details are important. It's especially important knowing the difference. The water rabbit is trying to make you listen to your intuition much more for a quite a while now. So how about you make yourself familiar with some new aspects in your life? In the year of the rabbit, you definitely can be more open and make new friends. And with friends and with friendliness, you may come really far this year. Even if you criticize, make sure you do it in a friendly and compassionate way. November, the pig month. The year of the water rabbit is slowly coming to an end. And in the last three months of that re Regency, it is once more all about how to combine your tasks with your wishes for more self-development. This month's pick puts the emphasis on personal relationship. So how can you best support the people around you? And best without forging too much of your own goals, time and energy. Dog and pig together build the house of family in the Chinese zodiac. So make yourself comfortable in your own four walls. December, the red month. Towards the end of the year, get ready for more intellectual activity. The red will help you work on your thoughts and beliefs. It probably is a good idea to double check your plans, but don't forget that the best plans are of no use if you don't take action. Adapt to what is and jump on it once the wagon starts moving. And talking about changing beliefs, only because you always did it that way, that is no reason to not adapt and change. Just saying. Let go of what is not serving you anymore. Take on the rat's help to make you aware of that. And all in all, this year should have given you a st stable sense of self-esteem and your own value. So make use of that. January, the Ox month. This month is more about stability than change, which you love. In this last month of the water rabbit, you may decide whether you want to go a bit more into the change direction or if you would love to keep everything as it is. The next months will bring up the dragon and this fella is not so heavy on just carry on as is side. If you can make a decision on which direction your path will lead you, you will be able to adapt so much better to the soon changed circumstances. Let go of social conventions better sooner than later. That might prepare you best for the dragon year to come. And talking about the dragon year to come, 2024 will be a dragon year, which is your clash. So better get ready for some changes. Because I always like to say change or be changed. Do it. 
But the thing is really, do you have to wait for that specific month or year to activate a good combination? Well, the effects may be stronger if it's contained in the year or month, yes. But we also have the day animal and even down to the hour if you want to go down that road. There will be a great days and times to use in almost every month. So let's have a look at some special dates for the dog and go even deeper just to give you an idea of how date selection actually works. As I said before, since all the combinations were already in the first half, we will have a slightly different approach this time than usual. You see, I have no special dates as such for you here, but you can look out for the horse days and tiger times. Tiger times is 3 to 5 a.m. or, which probably is the better strategy, look at the tiger days and horse times. The horse time is between 11 and 1 p.m. Well, also rabbit days and rabbit hours from 5 to 7 a.m. Maybe have a ritual between those hours? Or would you like to start meditating or writing? Or doing sports do it then if you want to change then look for the dragon days or hours 7 to 9 a.m so losing weight quit smoking finally going to the gym depending on what your motive is use the horse tiger rabbit and dragon days for those activities and i want to give you an example for that let's have a look at the october which is your dog month so in the dog month the spotlight is actually on you Make yourself comfortable with that. Do you like it? Do you not like it? You have to work with it that the spotlight is on you in this month. So we're looking at the horse days from the 15th, which is the 15th and the 27th, and they are success days on top of it. Tiger days, the 11th and the 23rd and the 4th of November are stable days. Also really good. Rabbit days, the 12th, the 24th, and the 5th of November, initiate days. So you can do a lot of stuff on these days, especially if you use also the hours I've given you. And now, in a little bit more unconventional approach, you can also use the dragon days. Don't look at me that way. I would do that. 13th, 25th, and 6th of November. It's a month break. It's a destruction day. So if you want to make changes and don't look back, use those days. So they are suitable for destroying something like a building demolition, dieting. So this is about not going back to what has been the Dragon Days in this month for you, dear dog. You should not do resignations because there will be a nasty one. You will see them again or breakups. They will be nasty. No signing contracts on those destruction days and definitely not never ever opening a business or travel. So the best thing to do that day is sit and reflect, self-reflect on a topic that you want to let go, not necessarily the action itself. So for that, you maybe want to choose a remove day. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah, I know it's a little bit of an unconventional approach, but seriously, if you want to get rid of something, um, this is the day to really go into yourself and ponder about it. So now the question is, where in your bath suit do you have the dog? In which pillar? And just to remind you, the year pillar stands for the social aspect of your life and how you behave amongst friends, acquaintances, and your luck with them in general. The month pillar is representing your career, industries, where you might find the most opportunities, your ability to provide value and how you would do it best. Your day pillar is about who you are on a fundamental level, your inner nature, and what makes you unique as well as representing your love life because there's yourself and your spouse palace in there. Your hour pillar is representing your thoughts, ambitions and goals in life, as well as the aspects of children, investment and employees. So depending on where the dog sits in your barter, this is the area to take action. Job, career, relationship, business, investment. And you also now know where the best days and months are to take action. Looking out for combinations and clashes as well to find luck and success, not just in 2023. So now that you know all that, now that you know that, what is the one thing, the one thing you can do in one of those areas, wherever your dog sits now, or plan for the dates I just gave you to bring you forward? One thing. 
write it down right now. The one thing you can do to prepare your path. So it's one, one thing to know your goal, and then it's one thing to know your action. And seriously, it doesn't have to be a massive effort. I mean, sometimes moving the big heavy stuff in the beginning just makes you not wanting to do it. So better do a baby step and do it right towards the direction with intention. That's what we want to do. So you also know now that you have four animals that define your possibilities and opportunities for the rest of the water rabbit here. So if one pillar is not that lucky, put your emphasis on the other one. And then stay tuned for more insight and forecasts about the other animals of the Chinese Zodiac here on this channel and what to emphasize in the last months of the water rabbit year to optimize and achieve your goals. Because next year, next year is going to be a wood dragon year, which is a totally different game you will see. And if you want to know what is the best to do this month, well, have a look at my monthly The Power of Bards and Monthly Forecast series also here on this channel. And let me know in the comments if this was helpful and what your challenge is and what you need. I'm here. Have a fabulous time and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.